You have probably seen these kinds of images on the weather forecast before. These areas of high and low pressure are what makes some days sunny and others rainy or stormy. But the atmosphere is not the only place we find vortices. They exist in the ocean too, as so-called eddies. You might ask yourself, how do these eddies come about? To explain this, we'll need to dig a little deeper and we'll start by looking at the Earth's energy cycle. Solar radiation is the driving force behind everything. The sun's rays hit the Earth and warm the air, the land and the ocean surfaces. Because warm, lighter air masses rise and cold, heavy air masses sink, differences in temperature cause global wind currents, which spread over thousands of miles. The winds are influenced and shifted by the rotation of the Earth. In turn, they whip up the seas and generate currents. Like the Gulf Stream in the Atlantic, for example, these currents, amongst other things, are the cause of a particularly large number of eddies. We are familiar with this on a smaller scale. We see it in streams, for example. Strong currents create vortices in the water. It is quite similar in the ocean, just with much larger dimensions. Currents in the ocean produce eddies measuring up to 100 kilometers. Because of their size, they are often called mesoscale eddies. In contrast to the vortices you find in the atmosphere, which determine our weather conditions for a few days, these eddies can move through the oceans over several months and even years, shaping our climate. As with the vortices in the atmosphere, the rotation of the Earth also plays an important role when it comes to eddies. In the 20th century, it was thought that primarily large currents acted as a kind of oceanic conveyor belt, driving the water across the seas and therefore transporting heat. However, we now know that eddies also play an instrumental role here. How this works exactly is the subject of the research project Energy Transfers in Atmosphere and Ocean. Here, researchers are examining the formation of eddies and how they disappear how they transport heat and other matter around the vast oceans and thus influence the climate. Until now, the eddies in the models used by researchers to forecast climate conditions in future years and decades haven't been portrayed correctly. As a result, researchers are now considering how they can include the effects of these eddies into climate models. At the same time, it is especially challenging to represent the effects of eddies in a general, simplified way as mathematical equations. For this very reason, mathematicians, oceanographers and meteorologists are working closely together. Ideas are developed based on the fundamental laws of physics, integrated into the climate model, tested and, using data collected at sea, for example, comparisons are drawn. Since eddies have a huge influence on our climate, improving the representation of these eddies in climate models is intended to help make their simulation of the global energy cycle more reliable, and so enable more accurate climate forecasts. That way, we have enough time to prepare ourselves for potential changes.